Well, hello, everybody. My name is Carolyn Stranger. I'm a National Marketing Director in Phoenix, Arizona. And I just want to thank you all for coming on this Heat Team Tuesday night call. And today is Tuesday, December 17th. And this is actually the last Tuesday night call of the year. And it was just a month ago that Alexis Spusselman, brand new National Marketing Director out of Victoria, Texas, and I shared with you about the conversation we had, how about how we got to her first position, HLP, all the way to National Marketing Director in less than a year and a half. Now, we know that you're gonna have questions, so if you wouldn't mind putting them in the chat below, we are gonna to try to leave enough time so that we'll be able to answer them. So this talk really is, a, is in response to many of the questions that were asked on our last Zoom call. So Nikki, she asked us to come on back to phase two of some of the onboarding resources that Alexis shares with a new distributor. And for those of you who are new on this call, we have a Heat Team YouTube channel that you should really subscribe, excuse me, subscribe to since all of our calls are recorded and uploaded there on the Heat Team YouTube channel. So the backstory to my journey, 19 years ago, NMD Lenora Bayless shared Juice Plus with my best friend, Tyra Weedy, and myself, and we both ordered the product and became distributors in the same day. We told everyone about this incredible nutrition and the business at the same time. And one of my new team members was Terry Grothy, that who is Alexis Fusselman's mother. And can you believe Alexis was like 12 years old at the time back then? So now we're gonna fast forward 17 years later when Alexis popped up on my customer analysis report. My sponsor, Tyra Weedy, she taught me that I should run a customer analysis report with the date range for the current month at least once a week. And you see, Alexis had been a distributor for two years and I never even knew about her because her mother sponsored her and you see, Alexis only put in orders for her own family. So she never popped up on my customer analysis report. But what happened is she was told that if she became a distributor, she could just save money on her product. So she never knew there was an actual business opportunity. So one day on my virtual office, I did see the name Alexis Fusselman for the first time since she put in her first or customer ever. So I wanted to meet her and find out if she'd be open to more about hearing about the marketing plan. And you know what, that was the beginning of our journey together. And I wanna encourage all of you to watch her NMD speech. It's located on the Juice Plus Virtual Franchise YouTube channel. It's the fourth video listed. And you're gonna get the details on how did that call go when, I, when she got her fir first order in. And I do got to give a spoiler alert. She told me she was not interested. Can you believe that? So you're going to have to hear her speech to find out. Well, what did happen next? Okay, so with that, now I would like to turn it over to Alexis as she's going to share with us what she does when she gets a new distributor and how she moves them through the marketing plan very quickly. So Alexis, it's going to be you to take it away. All right. Thank you so much much, Carolyn, for that introduction. Um, my name is Alexis. I am a wife and a mom to three little ones, and I live in the South Texas area. And as Carolyn said, Juice Plus has been part of my life for a long time. My family has always been um, big Juice Plus lovers of the product, and I did sign up a few years before um, learning about the business just to earn some money back on my family's personal product. And I really feel an obligation personally to share with people that there is an opportunity to earn money back because how many of us feel like we present Juice Plus and often the objection we get is cost. And I never want someone to feel that cost is something that's keeping them um, from having Juice Plus in their family's life. And so offering the business is something that I always do right away. And as Carolyn mentioned, the very first time that she shared with me about the business model, I did say no. I had been working a corporate job 
that a few years prior and I made a lot of money. I got to be home with my kids and I really did not feel like as a new mom, I was in a position to be able to take on anything else at that point. And so I said, no. And what I want you guys to know about that story is that circumstances change. And as those next few months progressed, um, as a new mom of now two babies at home working that job, I realized that I could not upkeep that, that pace and that lifestyle. And so the next time that she'd called me, because the next time I showed up on her customer analysis, she called me again. Um, I was a little bit more open to hearing about that. And so I've learned a lot from Carolyn about some of the processes and things that she has done in her business over the 18 years. And I've been really grateful to have someone guiding me uh, this year as I was just running through this plan so quickly. Um, and I've really learned from her. And so with that, I want to share with you guys uh, my screen where I can, um, go, I'm going to go over a few of the screenshots that we discussed last time. And then I'm going to jump right in and talk about some resources. So tonight we're going to talk about onboarding new teammates and some of the resources that we like to use. So the first thing we mentioned was the customer analysis. When you run a customer analysis, I personally run one every day, sometimes multiple times a day, so I can check and see when my teammates are putting in orders. Um, I love to reach out to them and say, hey, I saw so-and-so's order go in, congratulations. Um, talk to them about that person, see if they would be a good business prospect. So I run this on a regular basis. Um, as Carolyn said, that's something that she was always taught to run as well. So when you run this in your virtual office, you go to um, team data first. You're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see that customer analysis right there on that first column. When you go to that page, you're gonna select your FIN number because you wanna see every person on your team that put in that order. Anything that, that within those few days of whenever you're checking. And that gives you the opportunity when you scroll down a little bit to select the date range. As I mentioned, I run one every single day. So today when I ran one, I ran it from December 16th to December 18th. And that showed me all the orders from yesterday and today. Um, and so I would hit format after I do the, the enter the dates. And it's gonna take me to a section where I can select the product. This is important because you wanna know what products was ordered. And then when you hit run, uh, return to next step, um, you hit run report. And then it's gonna give you this uh, report that you have the ability to scroll through see all the orders that were submitted from your team. And then, like I said, reach out to those people. If you had someone who submitted a customer order that had um, maybe multiple quads, or you'll see here on this screenshot that there's a canceled, um, you know, we wanna find out why that is, and you wanna catch it right away. And so I really love running a customer analysis on a regular basis. Um, another thing that we had talked about when we were on our last call was the verbiage that we use in Boxer um, to start up a new teammate. So I wanted you guys to be sure that you had these screenshots screenshots. Um, I'm literally, when I send these messages, it's a forwarded message. So it's been already crafted and I just share with them um, exactly how to get their office set up. And so it says, log into your virtual office. Um, and the two most important things, setting up a direct deposit and setting up your personal website. And so these are the screenshots I then forward. I just forward all these messages in Boxer. So that first one there, this screenshot, which is gonna walk them through how to set up their website, because sometimes it can be a little bit challenging. And then when I tell them to pick an easy one that has their name, because it usually starts off as like a jumbled, jumbled numbers, and we want it to be really easy, so if we need to send it off to someone that they can. And then when I get this message back, what their website link is, I know that they have completed these tasks, and then I'm able to help them in the future if they have a prospect or someone that they're work working with, because our websites can be a little bit confusing, and so we always wanna make sure we're sending people to the right page, and I'm gonna have an example of that a little bit later on. So that kind of recaps um, the things that we had talked about on that last call, and I want to go into now some of the resources that Carolyn and I use to share with our team um, once we kind of get them started. So as I mentioned, we're gonna get them on Boxer, we're gonna get their virtual office set up. We're gonna be sharing with them um, just initially about their current order that they put in and how 
close they are to that first promotion. Um, most of our team is hitting that, that first HLP right away. Um, and then we want to get them excited about that, that next promotion, qualifying sales coordinator. But not everyone is quite ready to make that step, and they may slow down a little bit. And so once they start slowing down, that's when we start introducing resources. And so um, this is some of the resources that we like to share with our team. So the first one is the Freedom Revolution. I'm sure most of you on this call have had an opportunity to go to that website. Um, it is password revolution when you get into there, but the corporate office has now made this accessible through our virtual office. I think this is amazing. It makes it a lot easier, a one-step process. Um, we've already told them to get into their virtual office, so now they can access the Freedom Revolution um, straight through there. When they go to that page, um, they're going to see this, this screen. And usually what I tell people, um, I, as a millennial myself, social media is a huge um, driver for most of the people that I'm sharing the product with. And some of them are sh posting on social media before their product has even arrived. So this is usually one of the first things I share with them because I want them to have this resource. Under the Getting Started section, there's a, a, a tab you can scroll down and on that has a section about social media and so I'll just tell them go to this website um, scroll on down to the social media and you'll be able to click and see examples of great social media posts when people are just beginning this journey and I really encourage them to take a look at that because these are have already been all crafted for us and really give some great ideas so I really love being able to share that um, another thing I share on the Freedom Revolution is the compensation plan. Um, most people want to know how they're getting paid, especially those that are hitting bonuses and hitting those promotional levels right away. So this has just recently been updated. So I encourage you guys to go take a look at it. It has phase one and phase two. It has um, those three videos right there, our partner plus qualifying sales coordinator and sales coordinator position. And then below that, we have a video about leadership. So I think this is great inspiration for anybody who's joining our team and they're asking more about some of the incentives and things that we have. And then we also have a video about bonuses. And so this is a great place because at some point they're probably going to ask, how am I getting paid? So this is where we want to send them. Another thing that I love, um, and this is actually something I really liked from before they redesigned this, and that is it's now found in the A to Z section, but it's the frequently asked questions. And I like this because it breaks these questions into two different sections. So the first section is going to be our product questions. How many of you on this call have ever had one of these questions from a new teammate? How is Juice Plus different from vitamins? Why is there soy in the complete? These are literally the most common questions that we get. Your brand new teammates that you just signed up are getting these questions from their family, from their friends, from whoever they're sharing this product with. Those people are asking them those questions and they don't know the answer because they just started. So this is a really great section. What I like to do is when someone messages me and says, hey Alex, this is Juice Plus Organic, I'll send them the link to this video and I'll let them know. Um, I may give them a little short blurb, but I'll say, please watch this video so you can, so you can really learn. Um, and then this is where I found the video. So then I'm kind of pointing them back to this resource. And then there's business questions under this FAQ as well. And I really like this section. Um, I think it's it's important for everybody to know that there's a place where they can go to find the answers to these basic questions. How to submit an order online, how to sign up a new teammate. And I feel like the very first time I saw this, I was like, oh, well, they're gonna know how to do that. It's in their virtual office under add new teammate. But for someone who started yesterday and signed up a new teammate today, that's not always something that they know the answer to. So this is a really great location where they can go to, to, to reference this. And what I would encourage you guys when it comes to sharing resources is share them as, as needed. Um, a lot of times it can be overwhelming, all the content and all the information that we get. And I really like to introduce these resources as needed. So with someone that I may have started in the business yesterday, um, they may come to me with one of these questions and I'll share the answer. But 
it's not really until they start slowing down, maybe I haven't heard from them in a day or two that I start sharing some of these others. Um, so that's something that I have found has been really valuable in my business. Um, for me personally, I was moving at such a fast pace that I really appreciated the fact that every time I sent Carolyn a boxer with a question, she was getting me the answer as fast as possible. And then she was telling me where she found it. And if I had time to kind of check out the resource, I would, but I at least had the answer and could keep moving with my day and with my prospects. So another resource that I personally really love to share with my teammates is the Campbell team website. This website is really awesome the way it's been put together. And when you go to it, there is a password to, to enter into it. And then it's going to bring you to a page that looks, that looks like this. And the section that I really enjoy and I encourage my team to go visit is under health info. And the, the top one there is Voxers, Audios, and Documents. And this is such an awesome um, place, especially for someone who's new and asking some of these questions. You know, my dad has diabetes. Is there anything that I can send him that would help him better understand how this could impact his health? Or my friend is pregnant. Is there anything that Juice Plus has about pregnancy? And so I really enjoy these resources. So when you go to this page, this is what you're going to see, an alphabetized list of all these different topics and how Juice Plus has impacted them. And these are coming from nurses, doctors, um, national marketing directors within the Juice Plus company, um, really credible sources. So you can feel very confident that these are something that's going to be um, well received by the person that you're sharing them with. It's they're all, like I said, they're all alphabetized. They share with you exactly how long that each of them are. Um, there's multiple, often multiple um, topics um, on the same condition. So like you'll see here, um, autoimmune, autoimmune. I mean, there's different options because the person that you're talking to um, may relate to one of those better than the other. Or maybe they may be more of like a three minute prospect versus the 28 minute prospect um, or vice versa. So just kind of use your best judgment on who you're talking to. And um, as I mentioned before, the diabetes, and I feel like this is one that I'm, that I'm using on a regular basis, um, talking with people that are diabetic and um, being able to guide them with our products. And so if you guys have never been to this website, go check it out. You can spend hours just going through this list. And as you scroll through, people are going to be coming to your mind of that you know, you've thought of that, that you are just like, Oh, I know somebody who has this condition. Let me listen to this and see if maybe it's something that would be relatable to them. And it's a great place to go when somebody asks you a question too. So you can go the entire website itself is awesome. So feel free to browse through all of it, but this is um, my favorite section to be sharing as a resource with um, new teammates. Okay, this is an awesome email that I sent off. Um, I wanna share with you guys a couple things in it. So this, um, first of all, right here, that's part that I circled, um, is my new teammate's website. So this was a doctor, it was an oncologist that happened to walk in to a wine and wellness event that we were having. Um, we had a very large group of people. My teammate who was hosting the event was entertaining all of her guests that she had invited. And this doctor comes up and starts asking questions about the research. I was able to answer some of his questions, but he was really interested in more than I really had time to share with them. And so he, as we were standing there conversing, he sent me an email and asked me to send him some specific things the next day so he could look into more. And so this is an email that I wrote to him. It's a little bit longer and more complex than like a typical prospect email, but he as a doctor had like requested all this information. So it has, like I said, a little bit more content than you would typically find. Um, but one of the things he had asked is about the research. I had some of the medical journals displayed, but I told him that he can see all the research on our website. So the website that I wanted to send him is my teammate's website who is hosting the event because he's going to be her customer. And so I was able to craft this um, and then link it to her website, which is going to take him straight to this page. So if you guys have ever been to this page on your website, it has all the medical journals listed. You can click on these and it's going to give the actual medical journal documentation, which is what a doctor wants to see. That's what, that's what he was looking for, the actual medical journal. So this is a great resource for him. 
Um, as I continued through the email, one of the other things that he asked me about as an oncologist was, has Juice Plus ever been utilized with a feeding tube? Has it ever been looked at as far as how it impacts those that are going through chemo or radiation? These resources right here that are circled, I pulled those from the Campbell team website. I was able to list them on there by topic, by what he requested from me, share with him exactly who it was, Dr. Matt Brown, five minute audio, uh, and provide him that information that he had requested from me. Then also down here, um, he has two children himself that were both family health study eligible. That was one of the things I had asked him that night when we had spoke. And so I wanted to be sure he had the link to sign up because who knows, he might be interested. Um, the, I put right there two different links. So the free for kids, which is gonna take them to the health study page. I made sure to note that he has to scroll all the way down to the bottom because sometimes people get to that page and they don't realize well, how do I even sign up? I just got a lot of information here. So I always like to put that in, in, the, um, in the email. And then I also provided him a link of all the products. And again, this is Amber's website because she was my teammate who was hosting the event. And so it was really valuable to me that I had her website accessible on my phone from when she set up her, um, her virtual office initially. And so if he were to click on that link for her um, healthy start section, this is where it's going to take him. Like I said up at the top, it's Amber's website. Um, I told him to scroll all the way down to the bottom and that's where he's going to see ready to sign up. And that made it really easy for him when he was looking at this to know where do I go next? What do I do? Um, and so I will tell you guys that this is really an awesome resource for us to be able to look into, be able to share. Um, you know, I could never explain to a man who is standing there as an oncologist and a doctor the impact that Juice Plus can make for the patient. I could never share with him, you know, in that five minutes how Juice Plus has been utilized with feeding tubes. But I was able to follow up with these really credible resources that he had requested. And so I, I really loved um, that email because it had kind of a, several different examples for you guys. But you guys can keep it really simple. And maybe it's just one, one or two resources for your prospect and a link to your website where they can you know, check out all the products and the pricing. Now I want to go ahead and share with you guys a little bit about duplication because I know that was a big question on the last call is how is this duplicating? So in my opinion, there's going to be three components that are keeping me personally duplicating on a regular basis. The first one is leading by example. And for me, that means attending events, hosting events, encouraging my team to be to events, plugging them in, giving them an opportunity to be there. And I want you guys to know that there's many events that I have hosted, nobody showed up. Guess what? I had another one and another one and another one. And guess people come, they will eventually start coming. Um, you may have to rework how you're inviting. You may have to look at the time that you're having the event, but if you keep doing them, people will come. And as you grow your team, it's important to be providing your team a resource to be able to invite you as well. So make sure you're leading by example. So what is the most important thing that you want to be doing in your business? Make sure you are doing it yourself. The second one is plugging your team into a system. So I personally is getting them on Voxer, connecting them with my upline national marketing director because Carolyn is much more resourceful than I am personally. She's been in the business a much longer time and just on a true honesty, she has more time since she's an empty nester versus a young mom. And so sometimes that's going to be their best person to contact. Um, plugging them into my team Facebook page. We all probably have a team page that they can be plugged into. And then and what we talked about tonight, it's starting to introduce them to those resources. And then the last thing, which is probably the most important one of duplication is looking at income producing activities. I spend um, several times a week, I have an opportunity to talk with our regional director, Steve Shapiro. And this is something that him and I are regularly conversing on is income producing activities are what are gonna drive your business. So for my team, those income producing activities are chasing promotions. We do not let those slip by. People are hitting their HLP. They're becoming qualifying sales coordinators. They are getting to that sales coordinator position. We are helping them every step of the way and guiding them through that. We are signing up teammates. 
usually anywhere from 10 to 20 new teammates a month are joining our team. And so it's important, as I mentioned above, to have a system to plug them into. And then income producing activity or for me, probably the number one thing that's bringing in um, orders is having events. And those personally for me are in-person events. I do host um, online events, social media, things like that. But the best income producing events that I am hosting are events that are in person where we are taking orders and helping people get their families signed up for the product in the room. Um, I've had anywhere from 15 to 20 quad orders at a single event before. And I can say that no matter how many online events I've done or how many great social media posts I've had, I've never had that sort of um, a conversion as I do at those in-person events. So when I'm setting my schedule and I am looking at the um, things that I am doing for my month and I'm setting up my calendar, I'm putting those, those events, those are the first things that I'm doing because those are income producing activities. And so the last thing I wanted to share with you guys on that is I know that our systems are continuously evolving. We as leaders on our team, and those of you who are new, I encourage you to talk with the leaders on your team about what things are working. One of the things for our team that is really tough is a lot of team calls. Um, I'm doing a lot of events. I'm a young mom. My business is growing very quickly. I personally only host one call a month, and I expect my team that, you know, I invite on there to be there, but just even that one call is hard for some of us to make onto it. And so I know that there's teams that have calls every week or several times a week. And so I have found that that's not always income producing for me. And therefore I've kind of limited it into my schedule. And so as my business progresses, I'm constantly evaluating and figuring out what are the best um, tools that are continuing to get my business growing forward. So I hope that that information tonight was, was helpful for you guys to see some of the resources that we've used, see some of the verbiage that I'm using. And um, if you guys have questions, it looks like we got some over here in the chat. Um, I will definitely be happy to answer them. So let's see. Okay. I would love to know where you store your pictures the slides you share in your notes so you can share quickly with your new team. So the Voxer messages that I sent to you guys, I keep those just in Voxer. Um, Carolyn asked me the other day, she said, where did you pull those from? And usually I just get them from the last teammate that I sent it to. Um, that's usually the easiest way you can save them. There's ways to save them on there. Um, as far as pictures and slides that I share, um, I have an album on my phone where I keep my Juice Plus information. So that's typically what I'm sharing. Um, or sometimes I just think about the last person I shared it with. So I, I don't know if that's helpful, um, but that's usually, what the, that's usually what I do just to be able to quickly share. Um, is, oh, I get a copy of my emails. <laughs> I can send you a copy of some of them. I mean, they're all different. It just really depends on who I'm talking to. I, I will say to keep them brief. Um, you don't want to overwhelm the person you're talking to. That email that I showed you guys, I mean, that oncologist requested the, the muffin recipe that he ate. He ate all the muffins on the tray and had requested that. And he had requested the research and he'd requested the feeding tubes and the cans. And he'd requested all those things. So it was a much longer in-depth email. But most of the emails we're sending are very simple. Okay, for events, I did not mention this above and I meant to mention this. Events are the top income producing activity for me. They're the way I grew from HLP to NMD in one year. And I am, have been asked to be a featured speaker on the Pajama Regional, which is happening next month. And I will be speaking about events. So if you guys, I would encourage you to plug into that. Um, I will be sharing all about the types of events I'm hosting, verbiage that I'm using, how I'm inviting, how we're following up, all the secrets you guys need to know to having successful events will be shared at the Pajama Regional. Okay, that looks like all the questions. If any of you guys have any others, you have a chance to call out. I'm happy to take, we probably have time for one or two more. I don't know if anybody has any calls, but man, this was just such an easy call, Alexis. I mean, everything sounds so incredibly simple. Um, and if somebody uh, has a question, I'm just going to say something really quick. And then if somebody has a question to go ahead, I want to re just remind everybody on the HEAT team that December 24th, 
which is Christmas Eve, we won't be having a team call. December 31st, which is New Year's Eve, we will not be having a team call. But January 7th, first Tuesday of the year, we have none other than Chief Operating Officer Sean Hopkins, responsible for Lyft and so many other things. And you're gonna to wanna to hear from him. He's been so integral integral on our new um, compensation plan, working hand in hand with all of the different committees. And I think it's gonna be an amazing call and he has big heart and he certainly follows in the steps of one of my most favorite people in the whole world, Jay Martin. So you wanna be on that call January 7th to hear from our chief operating officer. So now I'm gonna zip it. And if anybody has any questions, go for it. <laughs> I have a question. Hey, I wanna thank you so much, Alexa. Because you have totally changed the way that I can get people um, signed up. So I, of course, say, hey, you can save money once you get your quad um, for yourself. So they're getting that retail sales profit. But I have a lot of people that are not moving from that spot. They said, oh, yeah, I want to work the business. So how do you get them excited about their first promotion? I mean, what kind of, um, you know, what kind of verbiage do you use to get them motivated to make their first promotion and then from that point go on to their second and keep it moving you want to say baby steps the first thing they don't know what the points mean they don't know point values all you need to tell them they ordered the quad you know that's about halfway you need just one more quad order maybe a little something else and we're going to get you that first promotion you're telling them that right away then you're following up with them that week. Hey, do you have anybody that might want to order the quad? Anybody that we can talk to together? Um, anyone that's been coming to your mind? So just keeping that, reminding them. Then they get one order. They just got a trio. So we still need a few more points. Guess what? You're only one small order away. You only need to get a duo. Do you know anyone who would be willing to put their child on the health study for free and just order the duo? So just giving them baby steps and looking at it in terms of product versus points um, because sometimes they're moving at such a fast pace that they haven't even learned any of the point system yet and so that's what I typically do and then once they hit their HLP you're really gonna have to put some hard goals in place to get them past that they're gonna have to be doing either physical events three-way calls strong social media something that's really gonna generate some activity because that is a big jump in the next promotion all right thanks All right. I want to be respectful of everyone's time. I yeah. know that we're, we're right there. And you can see she did a great job. She knew that she wanted to be done at our 30 minute mark. And Alexis, I'm just so proud of you and how we uh, talked to, over this week and working together and putting this whole concise thing. I'm so glad you recorded it, Nikki. Many people are going to really enjoy going back to it and be able to grasp some of those things. So thank you all for being here tonight. And thank you so much, Alexis, for sharing with us your, your wisdom and excitement. I think we're all inspired. I appreciate you so much. Happy, happy, thank happy you. holidays, yeah. everybody. Um, amazing job, Alexis. Have wonderful Christmas. Have wonderful Hanukkah. Have wonderful whatever you celebrate. Um, happy New Year's. We'll see you all back here on the 7th. How about everybody getting off of you and giving a big, huge heat welcome to our newest MD. Yay. Thanks, Alexis. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Alexis. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.